Magistrate a chatterbox? So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. <clears throat> the wind is rising. In it, I sense disturbance and unrest. The increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now? Our Magistrate's absence. Plus, the mysterious rover! I'm afraid. Well, we've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. We've done everything we can. I mean, this is one long. And we're talking about Jinzhou of all places. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're united we stand, a bastion of might. One equals a legion, invulnerable in fight. Well, do you have any plans, Rover? Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So, what's so special about them? Hmm, it seems like a miniature sundial. It is a horological device that tells time by using sunlight's direction. Sundials in Huanglong usually have marked lines for the 12 shichuns in a day, and every shichun is two hours long with some showing seasons or months. The design of this sundial looks a bit unusual, though. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the twelve earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. Generally, the Teal Long represents the East. The White Tiger stands for the West. The Vermilion Bird stands for the South. And finally, we have the Black Tortoise for the North. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how could it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. This is... a mangosteen fruit. The mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. Always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still. Mm -hmm. 
So Trisia and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. Oh right, Baja's still waiting for us at the academy. I don't have candy like that. But I've got this. It's really good. You, um, you can have one. N no need to thank me. Uh, please have fun in Jinjo. There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. See? Just open the util. See? See? Just open the utilities, select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. Oh, wait a sec, someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry, it's all right, I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops, almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover Yang Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Stop, stop. Don't call me that. Anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure, go do your thing. Don't worry, I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside.
replied to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju, but, um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? I refuse to tolerate the foolish striving of those insatiable slugs. Since it's difficult for our research to deal with a man like him, I'd rather handle it personally and swiftly. And you are? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance, but he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies-related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room.
I don't see anything special with these items. Speaking of the sugar pearl, you all remember eating sugar pearls like this when you were kids? Well, I don't think I've ever had anything like this in my childhood. No, I'm from the New Federation. You mean the sugar pearl might be unique to Huang Long? I remember a nurse lady giving me a candy like that. So, sugar pearls like this were distributed at hospitals, perhaps? The sugar pearl might be a type of medicine. Its sweet taste would have made it more palatable to children. Miss Baija, as a Huang Long local working at the academy, I suppose you already had an idea about what it is? I do have my theory as to what it is, but it still needs verification. I wouldn't proclaim any solid answers before confirming the chemical composition of this item with reliable data. Seconded. Let's find out through actual testing, then. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Over. Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin if you're ready. Do you have any questions before we begin? Apart from the ancient legend Yang Yang mentioned earlier, I've never heard of anything like this. But if we look at it another way, we might finally be able to verify said legend once we figure out what really happened with your body. Now let's begin if you're ready. Try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless's frequency energy was consumed by your body leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. I can't say without sufficient data. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Academy's simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. Previously detected, your bodily functions are in good condition, and you seem entirely unaffected by the crownless energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing.
tranquility. Swift and resolute. Swift and resolute. Not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. Endless reverberation. Ha! Let me be your blade. We have gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? to the same spot again. And this moon, what is happening? Are those tacit discords? Rover, do you still remember what you saw? Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may- I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated Sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us.
stock is cheap. Show me the action. Save the day!